Have a look at these three pictures. Avengers, Jurassic World, and Star Wars. What do these pictures have in common? Are these some of your favorite movies you watch in the theaters? I bet they are, and this would not have been possible without the existence of a man called Edward Muybridge. Who exactly is Edward Muybridge, and why is he important? Well, he invented the first device which eventually led to the invention of the movie projector. It was called the Zoopraxiscope, and it was invented in 1879. It is a device that displays the motion of pictures. Small images placed at the edges of glass discs were rotated to project a moving image. Moibert started taking pictures of moving bodies, which helped us see motion to how we see it in movies today. In 1872, Leland Stanford, who is the founder of Stanford University, ordered Edward Moibert to take pictures of his horse. He wanted Moibert to find out if a horse's hooves all left the ground at the same time. He discovered that they do by using 12 cameras with strings attached to them and by activating them when the horse passed through it. This inspired Moibert's idea of the zoopraxiscope. Other devices such as the praxinoscope and the kinetoscope were invented which then led to the invention of the first successful projector. It was invented in 1894 by the Lumiere brothers. But how does the projector work with optics? For this, we need to know the basic principles of optics. There are two types of lenses. There are converging lenses and diverging lenses. Converging lenses are the ones that are thickest in the middle and it causes incident parallel rays of light to converge at one point after refracting through the lens. Only converging lens can produce real images. The projector produces a real image as the image is created on the screen. Therefore, the lens it uses must be a converging lens. Here is a diagram of a converging lens. The principal axis is a line which goes to the optical center of the lens and the optical center of the lens is the point which is the exact center of the lens. The principal focus is the point on the principal axis where all the parallel refracted rays converge and the secondary principal focus is the point at the same distance from the lens as the principal focus, but it is located on the opposite side of the lens. Now, there are three imaging rules to locate an image in a converging lens. One, a ray parallel to the principal axis is always refracted through the principal focus. Two, a ray through the secondary principal axis is always refracted parallel to the principal axis. And three, a line through the optical center always continues on without refracting. Now, when we look at the image produced by a projector, which is the movie or video it is projecting, we can see the image is larger than the object. The object is the film, CD, or DVD inserted into the projector. There's only one case in which the image produced is larger than the object. This is when the object is located between two times the distance of the secondary principal focus and the secondary principal focus itself. Therefore, this is the positioning of the object from the lens in a projector. When an object is placed in this position, the image created is always larger, inverted, and located beyond two times the distance of the principal focus. Since the image created is inverted, the film, CD, or DVD is placed into the projector upside down. This way, the image projected on the screen is actually upright. The screen is placed at this point beyond two times the distance of the principal focus so that the image can be displayed on the screen. And that is how a projector works, based on the properties of light. But why is the invention of the movie projector so important? How has it affected us? The movie projector has provided humans with a source of entertainment. Going to the movies is one of the biggest forms of entertainment in our generation. And entertainment is important as it keeps people happy and prevents them from boredom. It has evolved our generation. Nowadays, when people would like to spend an enjoyable afternoon with their friends or family, watching a movie is a great option. People even decide to go to the movies when they want to get to know someone new. It helps people bond. In the olden days, families weren't as close as they are now. Enjoying time with your family by perhaps watching a movie with them strengthens your bond with them. The invention of the movie projector has its social benefits, but it also has a huge economical benefit. When people watch a movie in a theater, it generates a lot of money. The additional snacks along with it and effects such as 3D effects in a movie also contributes to the large production of money. Therefore, the movie projector has largely affected us and it has done so in a positive way. It contributes to the 21st century and all the technological advances in our generation. It has a huge contribution to our economy and without it, our lives would be very different. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you learned something new about the movie projector and how it works.